And there she goes. And then she does nothing except her fall on her face. Way to go. Her life is not in danger. She's not utilized her powers much before, and her recent overuse of it has fatigued her. I am Rama, the Phantom Beast. Phantom Beast. Speaking of which, I'm pretty sure Phantom Beast, if you were to translate it, would be an Esper. So, I thought that the Phantom Beast lived in our world. That doesn't mean that we can't survive in your world. Phantom Beasts take on many forms. Some of them have a human form and can live in this world. You have nothing to fear from the Phantom Beasts. Why do you hide the fact that you're Phantom Beasts, then? Humans and Phantom Beasts fight with one another. But that's not what my grandmother said. She said that Phantom Beasts and humans lived in peace together long ago. Is that just a fairy tale? Ah, oh, that's no fairy tale. It's true. Humans and Phantom Beasts once worked together. That was before the Great Demon War, though. Always goes back to the war. The Great Demon War. It happened long ago, the Great Demon War. Phantom Beasts spelled humans who stole magical powers from other Phantom Beasts. Phantom Beasts who survived the Pierce spell appeared that their powers would be harnessed for evil again and fashioned themselves a new realm to live in. That world was the Phantom Beast world. 10, 20, or then 20 years ago, humans found us again. Humans that knew the secrets of fan beasts and magic. Oh boy. The hunt for fan beasts began. Gastra needed the powers of fan beasts to form an invulnerable army. Fucking Gastra. Finally, the phantom beasts expelled the humans from their world and erected a gate to keep them out. A gate on Mount Doom, apparently. Hmm. I like how she's been lying on the floor this whole time. Even now, fan beasts caught by Empire are being drained of their powers at the Imperial Magic Research Institute. I fled here to avoid suffering the same fate. Yeah, yeah, you might want to put her back in bed now that she's been collapsing before her about 20 minutes. Whoops. That's right, relax. I felt Tina's soul flailing and I summoned her here. She responded the way she did due to the calling of my magic. Tina's a phantom beast too? No, there's something different about her. Tina looks like she's in pain. The mere truth of her existence frames her to no end. She can't come to grips with it. Isn't there some way we can help Tina? Given enough time, she should recover from the shock and revert to her human form. What can we do? We may be able to save Tina if we free the Phantom Beast being held captive at Gastra's Magic Research Institute. Okay, how would that help Tina? It sounds like you're just getting us to do stuff for you. <laughs> okay, well, if we go to the Magic Research Institute, we can save our friend. Magic Research Institute, that's... Uh, my hand is going numb because I've been resting on my desk, so excuse me for a second. Uh, only I managed to escape from the Institute alive. Ours will not last long there. What are you talking about? Gestures method methods are incorrect. You cannot properly extract the powers of Phantom Beast with brute force alone. Phantom Beast power can only truly be transferred when our bodies are reduced to Magirock. Magirock. It's supposed to be Magisite. This is such a great translation. When we Phantom Beast turn into Magirock, our powers can be transferred properly. Magirock. When Phantom Beasts die, their spirits become entrapped within the earthly remains. Small stones called Magirocks. I'm not saying Magirock again, I'm calling it Magisite from now on. That's the stupidest term I've ever heard. This translation. These are my comrades who died while trying to escape from the Empire. And I shall grant my powers onto you as well. And there you go. 
It's almost look like little robot, like eyeball things. They don't really look like crystals or anything at all. Like robot eyes, that's what they look like. They look terribly out of place, to be honest. Especially in this room. So far, magic rocks. Old man, are you really dead? No, well, I guess he just killed himself. Magicite, not Magirock. God damn it. I wish I knew how to change those. He just gave up his life just to grant us his power. Well then, what did you do? Our sacrifices can be used to save many of our lives. We're counting on you. The great demon war must not be repeated. Hooray, received uh, Magicite Realma. Rama, not Rama. God damn it. Kate Sith, who the fuck is that? Siren, I didn't even know she was. Okay. Kieran, is that like Krillin from Dragon Ball? He's gonna be completely useless, isn't he? Now, if I remember correctly, I believe what you can do with this stuff. Let's go into Beast, and you can actually equip him. Regen, Confusion. Silence. So basically, this is like a really, really weird system that they came up with for this game. Where you can equip different rocks and you can learn spells based on what rocks you've equipped over a period of time. It's kind of weird like that. Plus at level up you get like stat boosts. Which is why I didn't want a power level because the sooner you can get these things in theory the better. Because, from what I've heard, some of these can be actually really, really useful at, where at, like, at level up they give like really, really big stat boosts and stuff, so... That's why I wasn't power leveling. Okay, now you. Kirin, it's regen. Doesn't really give anything on level up. That's magic plus one. I'm level up HP plus 10, and holy shit, you can learn fire. So. Okay, now you. Hmm. No stat boosts on level up. Hmm. Well, it sucks for you, Locke. Hmm. So I can give you a bunch of, like, curing things. And they spelled Curara wrong. How stupid of them. I don't know who translated this, but they clearly could never play a Final Fantasy game before. Actually, first I'll put something on him. Kate Sith. Confuse, capital, levitate, and you get magic plus one. Honestly, why not? Because I want to give her healing magic. For now, that would be very useful to have. I guess in theory you can really, really break the game by going back to the beginning of the game and just doing this stuff since the stat boosts only apply to when you level up. So Tina, wait here. We'll be back to help you. Anything over here? Oh my god, there is. Hermes shoes. I already have some of those. X-Potion. Okay. You were definitely not here. How did you get here? Did you like scale the mountains with your bare hands? Are we all here? I've been thinking. Edgar, we can discuss our plan of action on the way back. Hmm. The Empire is extracting magic power from phantom beasts. Now look how everyone's here and yet like no enemies are showing up. Is it true, Celis? Probably. And the text is going by on its own. I was asleep when they infused me with my magic power, so I can't remember clearly. However, I have heard rumors to that effect. Hmm. Then we have to break in, into the Empire. It would be wise to separate into two groups. We need to keep our defenses and our hardened. Is that why you showed up here? Right, sir. I 
I will go to the Empire. I know the most inside information about the Empire anyway. But only one person. If you're that worried, then I'll go too. Lock. So yeah, now we have to take Lock and Silas with us, which is good because I plan to take them anyway. Yeah, I might be of assistance as well. No, you can't. You're not allowed. I just equipped these guys. You're not allowed. That's what I'm saying. So, Sign and Gal, unfortunately, you're going to be completely under leveled in a while. That's okay, because I can level you guys up later. It'd be nice if I can get them to learn Hill Guys, because then you can use Magnitude 8. That would be insane. But yeah, you also notice that everyone now has MP. Because we can now all use spells. And Locke, for whatever reason, is missing MP. Which makes absolutely no sense. Okay. Wait in Narsh. We'll come back once we've infiltrated the Empire successfully. If you want to change party members, head to Narsh. Yeah, I'm not going all the way back there to change party members. Nice try, though. Okay, then. The Empire is on the southern continent, but the ships don't go there anymore. This could be difficult. The aristocrats of Jador to the south may be able to give us some information to work with. Let's try and ask them. Locke. Hmm? Why do you want to go along with me? Uh, well, I have my reasons. I want to get a good look at the Empire myself. Now there's a ghost here, okay. I see, that's some Adjurox. Let me explain the Phantom Beast system. No. I can figure this out on my own. How is those on the... Really? Okay. I don't really understand what the entire point of now putting new NPCs in that town is. If anything, it's just a grinding town, nothing else. And burn. Everyone burns. Told you. Hooray. I got two magic points for that. Okay, let's just change my formation back to what it used to be. I can probably move you guys back to the front row for now. Uh, yeah, I'll leave him in the front row. Why not? Poor Lok needs to be in the back row because he's completely useless. So anyways, that's done. And I need to kill these things again. Thank god I figured out the entire D-pad thing. Oh, well, that I would have been so screwed, probably. And done. Yay, 120 experience and magic and all that stuff. And down we go. Oh, boy. And there's a town here. Well, obviously there's a town here. I just came from it earlier. No, I'm not using my tent. It's cheaper to sleep at the inn. For once. For, for, like, this is the first Final Fantasy where they fix the entire tents being overpowered thing. To be completely honest. Do you have to go to stay at night? Yes, I will. Because usually tents are cheaper in the inns at some point, and then you can just buy, like, a bunch of tents and just rest wherever you want. But now tents are expensive as all hell. So they completely just revamped the entire tent thing. Anyways, I'm going to save here. I've been playing for almost an hour and a half at this point. And I'd say I made some pretty solid progress, to be honest. So with that done, I think uh, next time we'll go explore more of this town. We'll probably end up going to that dot down south there and then we'll probably hit the Empire. And that'll be fun times, I'm sure. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.